This is Chesapeake Metalworks. Today we're going to be installing the clutch line for the manual swap in my 1996 318i convertible. I put the car back in the air so we can get to some of the underside stuff. Where the clutch bracket goes, goes right through this little cutout right here. You can see I pulled the fasteners off so we can get to underneath. And it's gonna weld one right here in this general area. Now I want to check the donor car so I can figure out exactly where the carpet comes up right here so that I can make sure the carpet in this car is not touching this area of the floor. And I'm going to knock this cutout out and mark on this side of the floor to be able to see where I need to weld this bracket in so that it will come through this cutout exactly like it was um, from the factory. In terms of the manual transmission, we already saw the pedal set will be taken care of. The automatic pedal set will actually work just fine. The boss back here to mount the rear of the shifter is there. And the hole in the floor is there, of course. If we come over here to the actual transmission that will be going in the car, you can see this is what mounts in that rear section that I just pointed out, that boss. And then of course, this is where the hole is. I shoved an aluminum thermostat housing right where the spot we're gonna be welding is and also put a cardboard box under here to kind of keep the carpet away from the side of the car, hopefully. And I'm only gonna be tack welding this, so hopefully it'll be fine. We're gonna lift it up and try and put the bracket in. I've placed the bracket on here. It's on with a magnet from underneath, so it is not welded in place. I also traced underneath of it with a Sharpie so I know about where to line it up. So everything's nicely shielded here. Obviously the flammable cardboard, very nice. And we should be able to get this tacked into place. I do have water over there in that bucket with a rag. I also have fire extinguishers all over the place. Let's see one there, one over there. I know that one works. Now, I have never used welded primer before. So that is definitely not pretty. We're gonna test it here in a second. <laughs> yeah, zero penetration, zero. I need to look this up again. I swear weld through primer. You're supposed to weld through the primer. So I've never used it before, but I got no penetration on this and I was able to get weld off of the bracket as well. See, it just comes right off. After reviewing some instructions online, it seems, and I did read this before, it seems that you are very highly advised to remove any weld through primer in the immediate weld area. I'll clean the bracket up with a grinder. So hopefully we have some bare metal to be able to weld onto this time. Wow, that's uh, pretty bad. But you know what? We got some penetration, so that's all we need. Not top tier work here, but it's not coming off this time. Good news, the carpet does appear to be intact. It's the next night and you can see that tab fits perfectly through the hole it's supposed to. So everything lines up just like it was factory. I also got these hoses installed, so these are new. We got the throttle cable put in place, but it's not hooked up inside the car yet. And you probably can't see up here but I'm working on the clutch line for the master cylinder right now. And obviously the clutch line that comes down here too. So we can get that in place and uh, get the pedals and everything installed inside the car. What we're looking at is where the clutch master cylinder comes through the firewall and is that black plastic piece at the end. And you can see the clutch line here, I'm kind of rocking it a little bit side to side. And where you're looking is right through where the ABS pump is and the steering column. So what I'm going to try to do is I do have the master loosely bolted in place inside the cabin. 
and I'm going to try to force it on to the quick connect from inside the engine bay. Okay, and it clipped in. So just like that, we're able to get it in. There's basically zero chance you can do this with the engine in. You have to do it from inside the cabin, but since I do have the engine out, this allows us to make sure the rubber grommet does not come dislodged as we're working on it. I'll show you where the line comes off. So you see it comes down here and it will end right at this bracket and it's got room in it to play some play. So we're good to go. This will come down and we'll attach right there and be secure.